Hello, in this video, we'll try and see how to use vectors in P5. So if you remember, so let's call this uh, videos creating vectors. Remember, we used to make But if you, if you remember, we used to declare variables with let and then initialize them by giving them a value like this. So instead, what we can do is if you have two variables, you can just make them into a single vector. So you can just say let the vector name be v1 here. Inside here, you can create the vector. You can say v1 equals. I don't know why it's going on the top. You can say v1 equals the function to use is called create vector. Open a bracket, and in this bracket, you can give two values. So you can give 100, 100, just like we define the variables here and initialize them here. We can just create a vector like that, which will take two values, say x and y. And then we can use this vector with the help of the dot syntax that we did. So if I just run this right now, it's giving me an error here. If you look at this, so X is not defined. So this X doesn't exist anymore. So in order to use the X and the Y, let me see if I'm recording. Yeah, so in order to use the X and Y, we have to use the dot syntax that we saw before. So we have to do V1.X and V1.Y. So this V1.X is 100 and V1.Y is 100. So now if I run this, hopefully it should run. So look at that, you created an ellipse with the help of a vector. Now, the other thing we can do is, with the help of a vector, try to create the random walk that we did in the last video. Let's make a random walk with the vectors. Remember, for the random walk, you need the background in setup. So we move this in here. Put it zero. If you do zero, the background becomes black. And then what we can do is give stroke for the boundary of the random walk. Let's do say white like this. And for the random walk, we use the point. So let's use the point. Now instead of x, y, we have to give v1.x or v1.y. And if you remember, we gave the moment, the moment of the point with the help of switch in the earlier random walk. But now what we'll do is we'll use the vector to give it a random walk. So let's see, this is how we do it. We say v1.x plus equals, so it will increase by v1.x, random, and give two points for random. Let's do minus one to one, so it'll move once to the left, once to the right, and so on. Similarly, v1.y plus equals, random, minus one to one. Now, if I run this, hopefully this will create a random walk with the help of the vector v1. Let's see. So if I run this, look at that. It's creating a random walk. This is red in color because the stroke is 255, 0, 10. If I stop this, now there's a new thing or other thing where you can put the vector in the middle of the canvas. You can do this by putting here width divided by two and 
height divided by 2. So this will automatically take the value 600, 600 and divide that by 2. So let's see if I run this. So it's right in the middle and it's creating the random walk. So this is not using switch anymore. It's using the random function to create a random walk. Okay, our aim will be with the help of this vector, we'll have to create a physics machine. So in the next class, we'll see how to do a little bit of more coding. And then with the help of this class in the next video, we'll create a physics engine. Let's see if you're able to do that. Any questions, you can type in below.